well but we will start by showing you the league on bottom half standings why you might ask are we showing you where Strasbourg finished last season well that was in 13th and the reason we are showing you that is because today they parted ways with their coach by mutual consent their coach being Patrick Vieira which has sent the rumor mill into <laughs> overdrive and there are reports out there that he is in negotiations to become the US men's national team new wow. coach. Julian Laurent has so kindly joined us. He's on vacation, but he's dialed in for us just to talk <laughs> about this. Jules, thanks for being with us. What more do you know? Well, uh, Patrick Villar was already keen on the job when, before the, uh, the US Federation confirmed Greg Behalter the last time that they were going through the, this process. So it's no surprise, really, that in this new process for a new US team, uh, US men national team head coach that is also quite keen on the job. I think he ticks a lot of the boxes and I am ob obviously biased because he's somebody that I know really well and I, I rate really highly in terms of his coaching ability and, and the kind of job that he could do with the, with the squad or with the roster like the, the US men national team. So I'm not surprised at all that Patrick Vieira is in this short list. There are obviously other names. Another French one is Wilfred Nancy, of course, who's done extremely well in MLS in the last two seasons. But I can see why in the US Federation they would like a European coach. I, I can understand why they want maybe a shift in terms of mentality compared to US coaches that they've had before for the national team in Greg Berhalter. And I can understand again why Patrick Vieira is quite high on that list. What are your reactions to these reports? seeing this name linked. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm not, not at all surprised. Um, I, I, I thought Patrick Vieira kind of fit the profile of, of who the US could realistically get. And, and I know US men's national team has been linked with any number of names, including the likes of uh, Jurgen Klopp. But I, I, I thought that was just totally unrealistic. Um, and, and the truth is, Patrick, in, in his time here, um, did OK. In his first full season with NYCFC, they finished fourth. In his second full season, they finished second overall. Yes, the team didn't do as well in the playoffs as, as maybe that, that would, would suggest, um, and then left halfway through his, his third. So in terms of that body of work um, here in, in Major League Soccer, I, I think it puts him near the top of the likely pecking order. And again, I use that term likely because who fans are calling for and who um, US Soccer Federation may be able to get are two completely different sets of lists. Um, so it, it, makes, it makes sense to me, at, at least in the interim, and especially now where there are a number of other high-profile jobs and um, uh, international jobs and not many candidates for them. For the US, I, I think um, you have to kind of solve the issues and solve them quickly. Why did you screw your face off when I said that this was the rumours and reports out there? Well, because if we were to stick his CV in front of people and not put a name on it, nobody would be going, this looks like a CV that we need to be the US men's national team manager. It's only because it's Patrick Vieira. This is, got not, this is not to do with the CV, right? Do, do, do you honestly think his CV has screams I mean, all I've what heard, if, is, all I've heard is talk Stevie. about Bielsa and, and, and Jurgen Klopp and all these names. And, and these names we're talking about have actually succeeded in winning things. They've actually won. They're winners. But, but sure, Patrick you, you, is you, a you, winner you. as a player, as a fantastic player. He was a winner. On the international stage, he was a winner. But uh, honestly, from a, from a CV point of view... Is Patrick the right man for the US men's national team? I just don't... I'm sorry, I don't see it. I, I, I understand your point, but you, you can't throw Jurgen Klopp in there. Of course, his, his CV is better I'm than just, anybody I'm just else's. Saying, those but... are the names that I've been talking about. Can, yeah. we, can we get Jurgen Klopp? Can we get somebody like Bielsa? You know, we're talking about all these names. Uh, all these guys that have other won. names with MLS managers and names like that too. They're also dotted in between these kind of names as well, Steve. I'll tell you what, forget Klopp. Forget Bielsa. What was the first thing I said? Does that CV scream United States national team? Doesn't to me, I, I, sorry. I tell you what, if, if he wasn't Canada's manager, I think Jesse Marsh should be near top of that list, if, if, not, if not the shoe in for the job. And I'm not sure that Jesse Marsh's CV is all that more. 
it, it is slightly better, but no, not to the point where it's, um, it's defining it, better than Patrick's is, is my point. Now, let's take a look at the odds when it comes to the new coach appointment for the United States. You've got Wilfred Nancy at the top, as Jules just mentioned there. We'd already seen his name. Javier Aguirre, Matias Almeida, Steve Chirundolo, David Wagner, Jim Curran, and um, Steven Gerrard. So, Jules, what did you make of what Stevie was saying here about the resume of Patrick Vieira in this coaching role? No, I, I can understand Stevie's point of view. I, again, it will depend what the US Federation want. Do they want a proven winner? But in that case, good luck, because they've received a lot of um, CVs and, and candidates and agents are calling to offer their the clients. Of course, it's great. Not many of them would have won a Champions League or a World Cup or even a league somewhere. Even if, if you look at Marcel Pochettino, the only thing that he's ever won is okay, one league with PSG. I think all of us would have won that league with PSG. And the season before, he failed to win it, by the way. So, so it depends what kind of proven, like proven winner you're looking for as a manager, because there will be a lot in the candidates who have won very little and some who have not won at all. But if you look at it, is a fifth place in Ligue 1 with a team like Nice when Vieira was the head coach there, a, like, like, a, like, a, like a bad experience? I don't think, so. personally, I don't think so. To qualify that Nice team at the time for Europe, for Vieira was a big achievement in France. So this, this is not winning a trophy, but it's still a good season that he's had. And we can look at through his career to keep up this Strasbourg team from last season in Ligue 1, it's not winning a trophy, but it's a good, it's, it's a, it was a good achievement for him to keep that young team that went through a lot of changes because the club was bought in the summer, etc., etc. So I can see his points. And maybe the US Federation just won somebody who's won a lot of trophies already as head coach. I don't know how many they will be on their, like, on their shortlist. But again, if you take out Jurgen Klopp, amongst the other names that you've, even that the ones that you read out, Kay, just now for the odds, not many of them would have won much as head coaches and managers? No. No, they haven't. No. Mm. But, but no, all, the, all, of the ones, all the ones on that list, uh, you know, and... and, and <clears throat> if it's me, tell me, right? But uh, since, since Ben Holt has been given the sack, all I've heard is all these big names and what we need is this and what we need is that and then what we need is this other. But if and then all of a sudden we get this list and this is, these are the names... Well, hold on a second. You're wanting one thing but then you're going after something mm -hmm. that, on the face of it, doesn't look as though it can give you what you're after. But what if this is realistic for them, and we're not looking at accolades, but we're looking at a profile of a manager who there will be respect from the players, they know they're not going to be pally-pally with him. If that's what we're saying that this team needs, that's been talked about before, is this a figure that can actually bring that into that dressing room? Well, I must be listening to the wrong media stuff then. <laughs> no, I, every, not... every single thing I hear, whether it's radio, TV interviews, podcasts, everybody's talking about how we need this, this and this. And it's all, it's all somebody who looks at the game differently, who's going to bring us to, a, you know, we, we, don't, we don't want to be a stuffy team that nobody wants to play against. We want to be this open attacking team. We want to play this type of football. We want to do this. Now, if you want to do all of these things that everybody's talking about, you're going to have to bring a guy in who's going to do that. You but then if you talk I, about that and somebody says, well, who should you get? Don't start throwing in these names that we've just thrown in there because they're not capable of it, in my humble opinion. Yeah, which, I, Stevie, I, I agree with you, but my point is, I think a lot of what you heard um, from, is from fans and from radio personalities about, well, this is who we need. We need Jurgen Klopp or Jose Mourinho or whoever it, it may be. I, I think the realistic options for U.S. Soccer Federation are totally different from what you heard. And the thing, too, that kind of, and again, I'm looking in from the outside, but just kind of tickled me as well is, is this, well, all these managers want to coach a team who would be, who are guaranteed to qualify for the World Cup because U.S. as host will be in the 2026. And no, not, not, that's not the be-all and end-all for Jurgen Klopp that he gets to coach a team in 2026 at the World Cup or at any World Cup. That's not the be-all be and end-all for those managers. I also think that U.S. soccer has its quirks um, I, that, you know, m many managers coming in might not want to be, 
you're, you're, you're a Jurgen Klopp, you're used to being in hotbed of, of the game, where the clock pretty much revolves around football. It's not so much here. And if you're a big name manager with that big, big time European experience, do you want to come to the US and just be an afterthought? I'm, I, I think it's a really difficult sell and I sympathize. There should be only one media outlet that Stevie is listening to. Well, when it comes well to news. who knows what Stevie is listening to oh, at the best of well. times.